Moving on now, the United Nations has criticized European countries for not allowing migrants to disembark safely at their ports. This comes after Libya's Coast Guard returned almost 500 migrants trying to reach Italy by inflatables. Spokesperson for the Coast Guard says the 473 people found trying to cross the Mediterranean in different rescue operations since Saturday included some who were rescued by a cargo ship. According to a 61-page UN report in December, UN aid agencies condemned the transfer of migrants to Libyan detention centers in which they often face abuse, lack of medical care, rape or forced labor. The African National Congress says its leaders and state president Cyril Ramaphosa will appear before the State Capture Commission at the appropriate time to defend the party's position in the face of damning testimonies implicating its employees in various government institutions. Party leaders were addressing the media in Johannesburg, South Africa, following the ANC's National Executive Committee meeting and Litotla. The meeting is an annual gathering of the governing party held twice in a year. It meets to identify issues requiring urgent attention and it helps to guide the work of ANC officials deployed in government in the year ahead. Our correspondent, Natasha Piri, reports. From the, the governing party told journalists that its president, Cyril Ramaphosa, will go before the state capture inquiry in the near future to account for the party. This comes after some ANC members were implicated in the commission. We already indicated, without fear or contradiction, that our president will go towards the end of the commission to give our, our own uh, report uh, as a governing party for the past 25 years. Asked about whether the ANC was concerned about its performance in the upcoming elections in May, with three various inquiries tainting the governing party's members, the ANC conceded, citing that these are lessons that the party should draw from. It will have a negative impact on the African National Congress, but this is what we believe as an ANC should happen. In the 25 years of government, there are things that are good that have been done by the government of the African National Congress. There are things that have not gone right within that period of 25 years. We are looking at what happened in the past. We are looking at how do we improve our institutions. The party also weighed in on the turmoil in neighboring countries, Zimbabwe. What happens in Zimbabwe has got a direct impact on us and you know that we've got so many millions of Zimbabweans who live in South Africa. We would like to see them also being involved in the resolution of the conflict in Zimbabwe. The party further cautioned the media on its reporting on the state capture inquiry, saying that all those who are implicated should not be prejudged, but should be given an equal opportunity to clear their name. Meanwhile, the ANC has reaffirmed its commitment to transform and diversify the financial sector. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Natasha Piri, Channels Television News. Meanwhile, the economic freedom fighters have given South African President Cyril Ramaphosa an ultimatum. Either he declares him and his son's involvement in the Bosasa corruption scandal or will have to face a disruption during his State of the Nation address on the 7th of February. Bosasa is a facilities management company specializing in providing business solutions. The company is now involved in a series of controversy following its former COO's explosive testimony at the state capture inquiry implicating several high-profile people. The fight has called for ANC leaders who are implicated in the inquiry to resign. As the President of the Republic must call an open press conference and take the country into confidence about his dealings with Busasa. This must be a press conference in which journalists will be able to ask open questions. His explanation in Parliament regarding Busasa has exposed him as having lied since both his son and Busasa contradicted him. He must further produce credible evidence demonstrating that he has indeed paid the alleged 500,000 that he wrongfully receives, received for his campaign as ANC president, as he promised to do so. Failure to do so will lead the EFF requesting Parliament to turn the State of the Nation address 
into the president answering questions on his involvement in the Wusasa Gate. Still to come on the program. An Egyptian factory is recycling plastic bottles, turning them into fiber that can be used to make mattresses and hot upholstery foam.